happened down in Charlottesville. It's kind of like, it's almost like you can't believe that this is this is what's become of our country. What happened in Charlottesville? Uh, I'm just shocked. I was so upset. I was so angry. We resist. We refuse to let hatred in. We rise up. We won't back down. We're in this till the end. We all have to stand up, even people like me. This is my first vigil, first protest, but this is about time if you don't stand up right now. I don't know what's going to happen to our future generations. Uh, you know, it was Virginia, it could be any of us, any time. So we have to stand up for it. I'm afraid of my dad getting deported and leaving this country. We hold the people of Charlottesville. We hold in our hearts Heather and her family. May the legacy of her life, which is a story of standing up courageously for the rights of all, live on. We're just humans, um, and uh, all we want to do is uh, live uh, in peace, just like everybody else wants to live. And that Margaret Mead said that if you small groups of people can make big changes. Uh, I'm here to protest against all the hate that's been happening around the world. And I'm here to spread the love. Republican and Democrats, fix health care. Don't try to kill it, fix it. Stand together, you know. This, this camp, this is not our country. This is just not what it's supposed to be about. We're not going to tolerate this anymore. And we're we're a country. We're supposed to be a country of love, of welcoming. My parents were immigrants, and based on Trump's new policy, I wouldn't be born because my parents wouldn't have passed that test. And that's not fair. And that's not right. Oh. Are you afraid? Absolutely not. I'm hopeful. Optimistic.